Tonight, fears of a catastrophic meltdown at a Japanese nuclear power plant are rising. Now, in the wake of Friday's massive earthquake, a series of explosions have crippled efforts to reduce the temperature inside those reactors, and the latest explosion occurred just over an hour ago. Now, seawater is being used to cool the rods, but late Monday night in Japan, the water level dropped and the rods were exposed. Now, this poses serious health risks and dramatically increases the chances of a total meltdown. Now, also today, we learned that crew members of the USS Reagan and were exposed to radiation while on a relief mission. Now, reports indicate that the exposure occurred when U.S. helicopters flew through a cloud of radioactive dust. Although the exposure is being described as low level and tests did not detect any contamination after they washed with soap and water, the sailors are being closely monitored. Joining me now with the very latest on the developing situation are Jay Lair from the Heartland Institute, Ira Helfand, a nuclear expert, member of the Board of Physicians for Social Responsibility, and nuclear safety consultant, Margaret Harding. Thank you both. Jay, I'm, I'm looking at not only the contamination story of the, the USS Reagan Navy crew members, but, you know, this is a race against time. Uh, you know, Japan's frantic efforts to avoid a, a meltdown. Uh, some people say we were told not to breathe the air. It's scary. How realistic is, is this threat? Sean, it's not at all realistic. Uh, I can tell you with the utmost confidence there will not be a health impact of anything that's going on at the Fukushima power plant. Uh, a meltdown, uh, people interpret it as virtually a disaster, an explosion, destruction like an atomic bomb. That's not true at all. A meltdown just means that the cooling of the rods has failed. Uh, the temperature is higher than uh, can be controlled in order to create the hot water that ultimately flashes to steam and uh, turns a turbine. Uh, so they immediately install rods to bring the radioactive uh, decay down to uh, subcritical, but they have leftover uh, heat and residual radiation that has to be brought under control. It will happen naturally within a few days. Uh, they're doing the best they can, but uh, a total meltdown has only occurred at uh, Three Mile Island back in 1979. Uh, that was uh, a disaster of a nuclear plant considered 10 times more serious than Fukushima. And the rods actually did uh, melt down, fell to the floor of the reactor building, and they only melted five mm. eighths of an inch into five inches of steel before they cooled and the situation stopped. Oh. And as you well know, there were no health impacts from uh, Three Mile Island. There will not be any health impacts here. The nuclear engineers in Japan are doing a magnificent job under situation that could never be expected. And uh, the public in Japan has enough to worry about with a horrible disaster All without right. worrying me, uh, that there's going to be a nuclear explosion. Let me bring Ira in here.